Hey everyone, it's Robin the Copy Bitch here to answer this question. Can I make a lot of money from copywriting? So the problem with this question is we have to agree on the definition of a lot. My definition of a lot might be very different from your definition of a lot. And what might be a lot in one country might be very different from what's a lot in another country. So I do feel it's important to include this disclaimer, especially on the videos where we're talking about money. I'm based in the U.S. I'm outside of Boston, Massachusetts. That's on the East Coast, not far from New York, relatively speaking, for those of you who maybe can't picture where Boston is. Okay, this is this is important because... I sell into U.S.-based markets. English is my first language. I do have lots of international viewers. I'm grateful for you guys, but when it comes to talking about money and talking about how to find clients, I'm not your best source. And I recommend talking to people in your country, you know, in your market, in your area. Talk to the copywriters and content writers who found success and who are making a go of it. Reach out to marketing agencies. Find out how much they make and how they find clients. Okay, so that's my little disclaimer there. Let's get back to, can you make a lot of money from copywriting? Because what I'm about to say, I think will hold true regardless of where you are. Now, if you come to the table and you don't have any experience in copywriting and maybe not a ton of experience in professional writing, like you enjoy writing and you can, you know, string together sentences, you, you know, you, you've gotten maybe compliments or something like that. The one thing I can guarantee you is you're not going to go from zero dollars to like whatever your definition is of a lot overnight. You just aren't. It's not how it works. Yes, there will always be the exception to the rule. And those are the people that throw the monkey wrench into things because these are the folks we hear about. And there's a reason why we hear about them because they are the unicorns, because they are the unusual success story. If everyone, if every writer out there was making a lot of money or six figures or a million dollars, if it was commonplace, we wouldn't be having this discussion because everyone would be doing it, right? So the reason why you hear about the six-figure copywriter and the millionaire copywriters is because it is unusual, all right? I have been doing this copywriting thing since 2002. So I'm recording this in 2024. So that's, you know, I'm closing in on 22 years. I started in August of 2002. So I've been at it a long time. And I do have a video, which I will link to, that will walk you through how much I've made through, I think it was 2023. And I'm going to be doing an updated video for what I made. Actually, it's through 2022. And I'm going to do an updated video on what I made in 2023 for anyone who's interested in that. I just did my taxes so I can you know have all the money numbers handy. It's always a weird discussion talking about money because I think it's important. I think it's important. If you are thinking about becoming a copywriter, I think you are smart to think about how much can I make? Is it, you know, is that going to work for my life? <laughs> because like I said, the definition of a lot will vary. So I will link to the video that talks about it. What I can say is I have not hit that vaulted six figure mark in my 22 years of copywriting. Now I have been consistently in the mid 80 K for the last, I'd say close to 10 years. I'd have to look back at the numbers, definitely the last five. So I've been like right in that middle sweet spot. So I'm about 15K away on any given year from that vaulted six-figure mark. Now, I'm pretty confident that if I really wanted to go after that six-figure mark, I could do it. I'm very particular about who I work with. I'm lucky that I can be. So I don't need to be making the six figures to be able to like live the life I want to live. And that's important. I realize your circumstances might require you to make more money because maybe you have kids that you're getting ready to put through college or you have more debt from school loans. Everyone's financial house is different. So that's something else that you have to think about. It's not just a matter of the definition of a lot. What's the definition of a lot of money, but what's going to work for your lifestyle, where you live, you know, different states and cities in the U.S., have different costs of living. Like it's really expensive to live in Massachusetts and Boston and San Francisco and New York City, but then there are other places where it's much more economical. So there are so many factors that go into that question, which is why it can't be answered simply. Like, and I know you want me to say, yes, you can make a lot of money. And the thing is, it's possible to make a lot of money at some point with training, with practice, with time, but not everyone's gonna do it. And that's the reality. And I want 
you to be careful of the gurus out there. And there are many good gurus out there who, who have lots of great stuff to share and tips and they have courses and I'm not bashing any courses or anything like that, but I'm a firm believer that everything you need to know about copywriting, you can learn for free online. Doing a course definitely has its benefits because especially if you're getting feedback from a teacher or, or, you know, the community, you know, that you get so that I can understand the cachet and wanting to take a course. But if you're taking the course because you think it's going to give you the secrets to make six figures, I think you're going to be sorely disappointed. And yes, there will always be the exception, the exception that's used as part of the advertising. But again, that they are the exception. And there are going to be people who come at me who will say like, no, there's more than that. Okay, well, great. Maybe, maybe it does work. But I've been at this a long time. I have lots of friends and colleagues at this a long time. I don't know anyone making a million dollars doing this. And I don't know a ton of people probably in the six figure category either. And I'm just being honest. It just, it's just the way it is. So, but that brings us back to the question is what is a lot? You know, are you thinking that six figures, that's a lot, you know, for some people that is a lot of money for other people might be like, well, you know, it's okay, but I actually want to make more than that. I want to make more like half a million dollars, you know? I'm in like that mid 80K range. So 85K, 86K, 84K, depending on the year. Some people might think, yeah, that's a lot. Other people might think that's not a lot. And that's just a revenue number, by the way. That's not like after expenses. So I want to put that out there because that's that's important to understand. So I do want to share some actual data because I think that's important to look at when you're thinking about the definition of a lot and how much you can make as a copywriter. So according to salary.com, the average salary of a copywriter in the US, it ranges from 52K to 66K. And that kind of squares with what I make when I think about expenses. I'm on the upper end of that. So that gels with my experience. Again, those are averages. Yes, I'm sure there are a lot of people who could poke holes into the whole salary, salary.com thing. I'm not here to get into that. I'm here to just kind of give you some actual data because you have to start somewhere. And then you have to ask yourself like, okay, if that's like, you know, where I could end up with some practice and time once I get going, then you have to decide whether that's a lot of money and is it enough for the lifestyle you want to live. Hopefully you found this enlightening, helpful, honest, because that's, that's what I kind of, I think I'm trying to do here with my YouTube channel is to be the voice of reason. I have plenty of videos where I think I get into the, you know, the rally mode and the pep rally mode and there are plenty of videos out there and YouTube channels that are all about the, you know, rah, rah, yes, you can do it. And we need that. We need that. But we also need the voice of reason. We need the person who's on the ground every day, who's been doing it, who's had at times struggled, who's at times thought of leaving it, who still has moments of that. And to just give you my own experience and my own money numbers and being transparent about that. That's why I'm doing it because... I have nothing to hide. It's like neither good or bad it just is. It's a number, you know, and if it helps someone out there who's thinking about pursuing this line of work, understand like what's possible, then I feel like that's helpful. So again, I'm going to link to the video where I kind of talk about my whole journey, but to give you a, a quick recap or maybe a teaser into it, just in case you don't feel like watching it or whatever, it took me, I started in August of 2002 and it wasn't until the end of 2007 that I was really making a full-time salary that I could live on by myself. I had moved back home with my parents. I was cobbling together my existence over those first five years. For the first four years doing multiple jobs, I was doing the copywriting thing for a year. I was working as an activities assistant in a nursing home. So I was the bingo bitch before I was the copy bitch. And then I was also doing some teaching and I also was doing some work at a radio station because that had been my previous career. So I was cobbling together an existence as I was finding clients and building my business. And there are many things I would do differently now if I were starting over, but I, I didn't know what I was doing. And, you know, this was social media hadn't taken off back then. So like it was a very different landscape. People not everyone had websites. I still had a paper portfolio, like an actual trapper keeper with like clips in it. So it was just, it was different. And I would do things differently now because of course I would, because I'm, you know, much older and wiser maybe, but you know, it took me those five years to really get going and build and get to a point where I felt like, okay, I can move out now and pay rent. And now I pay a mortgage and, you know, have that, have that confidence that I could do it. So that was my journey. There are some people who do start writing and are able to ramp up pretty quickly, but 
you know, some of these folks come from a writing background. So maybe they've come from a journalist background or they're working for a marketing agency or they're working for a company and, and some sort of writing or marketing capacity. And then they decided to, or they got laid off or they decided to whatever that journey was. And they're able to ramp up a little more, a little faster because of the relationships they had. I think it's highly unusual for someone to say, you know, maybe they were an accountant or an engineer in a previous life. And for them to go, okay, I'm going to stop and I'm going to become a writer. And to just do it so quickly that they make a lot of money within a year. Again, there's always going to be the exception. But I think for most people, it's going to take longer than that. And again, the definition of a lot just varies. It varies. So I'm going to really wrap it up now. I am Robin the Copy Bitch. That's Stewie, my sidekick sloth. If you have questions about copywriting, about running a freelance business, if you want the honest truth... Leave comments. Seriously, leave comments below. I try to always answer at least in text form um, on the comment. But if I see a comment that really makes sense for a video, then that helps me create a video and help more people. So don't be shy. There's no such thing as a stupid question. I've had them all. And the thing is, I've been doing this for so long, I might not realize the questions that, you know, the newbies have that I had 20 years ago because I've just forgotten or it might just seem obvious to me and I know it's not obvious to people who are just getting started. So please don't be shy about asking. And if I've already done a video on it, I can point you to it or I might need to, you know, do a fresh video. So that's my story and I will see you on the next video. Oh, if you got anything out of this video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, that helps us out. And now I'm really gonna say goodbye. Bye.